Hi guys, we are at the Paris Buffet lunch and uh, before I actually show you the food, I want to give you a little quick lowdown. This is um, the 19th of December 2013 and I tell you guys, it's the biggest disappointment so far. It's a demise to say the least. It's collapsed downwards. I don't know why. I'll find out and let you know on top-buffet.com. Um, well, what can I say? Look at the atmosphere, first of all. Everybody's kind of not sad, but they're certainly not jumping up and down. And I don't know, but I suggest it's got something to do with how miserable this buffet is, especially uh, after the kind of expectations that one may have, one may have, you know, after reading up reviews or just knowing about the, the Paris buffet. It's small, it's pretty bad, and it's still expensive. So that's the mystery. Now, there are a couple of dishes, in, true, in, in, in all fairness, that are well cooked, but all in all, I think this is not worthy of the Paris Buffet. Let's talk about the plus sides. The plus sides are that the atmosphere is still cute. It's a wonderful village market, so to speak, village cafeteria feeling, and um, it's cute, it's beautiful, and it's, it'll always be. It's a theme buffet, and I personally love theme buffets. One bad aspect is that very unclassily and you don't find this often you don't find it at all buffets then you've got a cart with all the garbage that has been discarded bad plates and you know uh, dirty plates and so forth just several cars just just floating around uh, the buffet area that's not what happens in high-end buffets in high-end buffets um, the service people um, waiters they actually uh, put everything onto a tray and then they will just take the tray out so that you don't have this huge pile up of garbage next to your table or next to the food and i'll show you later on and then what happens is that these carts they sit in the middle of a section or next to a section and it's kind of gross and i really don't expect this at the paris buffet there are some really low-end buffet or cheap buffets in vegas that do that i don't expect them to adopt a gourmet restaurant a gourmet buffet um, um, approach but i do expect this from the paris and i'm not finding it this time And then the car will sit here. And uh, so what happens now is a, it's about time I talk to you about the food. I don't particularly like people cleaning under your table as you eat either. Guys, I know some of you will think I'm fussy and it's just ridiculous, but if you actually eat at high end, higher end buffets, you don't have that. You want to eat and you, you want to enjoy the experience. You don't want to think that you are at a cheap canteen. And if you are in a cheap canteen, you actually want to spend cheap canteen prices. And this is not the case here. Now, of course, you can get coupons and you end up spe spending half the price as we have done and I, we talk about that on top-buffet.com so if you've got a coupon that's okay the problem is that a lot of people have bought the 24-hour buffet pass and we talk about that on top-buffet.com and I think that what happens that obviously you're gonna have to eat at, at the participating buffets and this is one of them and since the introduction of the 24-hour buffet pass in my opinion most most uh, Caesars Entertainment buffets have declined in quality tremendously. This used to be an amazing buffet. What's happening, guys? Let's hope it's a phase, but this is the end, almost the end of December, and I want you to actually see what you're going to expect unless something drastically changes. Now, let's talk about the food. This is all average. I tasted it, it was fine, average. Uh, what what is there to say? I know some of you guys say, oh, you know, you always say average, but it is. It's not bad. Pasta, uh, the 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 vegetables were were okay. Let's now talk about this other section. The saffron rice was not good, and uh, it was tasteless. It, it tasted like anything but saffron. And in saffron rice is usually delicate, you know. Then of course you have your um, seafood dishes, which are run of the mill. They're okay. Nothing, nothing is 
extraordinary. The chicken cacciatore, by the way, it's an Italian dish, not a French dish, but I will not be that fussy, okay? I expect, even this is supposedly a French buffet, that it has a variety of dishes. But nothing to scream about. Now, I am going to skip this section for a second and I will talk about this. They have adopted this relatively new trend of serving dishes into small little hot plates or hot little pots and I think that's very cute the size is enough is, is big enough there's plenty of meat section these two are meat dishes mixed in with uh, beans so it's a pork and bean cassoulet it's a casserole really and uh, the chef special which seems to be today chicken with um, just chicken really it's okay I'll, let, I'll tell you more about I'll tell you more about the texture and the flavor of, of, of some dishes on top-buffet.com but for the, for the sake of briefness it's fine it's average now going back to this section here sauteed turnips raisins and carrots steamed vegetables and scalloped potatoes the potatoes are good I have to admit you know they've always been relatively good at this buffet and they're still good the fast food type of meat sausage meat you know it's it's average <laughs> I found okay let's be more detailed I found that the some of the dishes here including some meats are they seem to have been cooked too much uh, but it's something perhaps that not everybody will notice or nor care about and that's absolutely fine but I'm just I'm just trying to give you detail what I actually did like is the 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 mash the mashed potatoes the Yukon gold mashed potatoes were actually very nice and I and you know I don't like mashed potatoes when they're swimming in butter or God knows what type of oil but this section here is actually tasty still so the mashed potatoes were well done and the sauteed mushrooms were actually tasty and the sweet potatoes so this is a good section of course I mean it's well done but it isn't exactly you know I mean it's good it's the comfort food it's the American section let's say and it was well done and I kind of liked it and of course you've got your rotisserie section which seems to be well done so it doesn't seem to be too dry it seems to be well done and then you've got uh, the, the sauces that go with it which is fine and then mac and cheese you know this is the comfort food section mac and cheese baby brussels sprouts I think they were overcooked a little bit but not everybody will notice and uh, grilled marinated lamb and grilled chicken breast and spinach and artichoke this actually this section here is is relatively well cooked I have to admit spinach and artichoke dip was nice uh, and the meat here was also pretty good now on in this section here you have of course the sushi section and you know as far as sushi is concerned if you're into that you know you may want to go to there are two places that are, are going to give you a lot better type of sushi than most other buffet uh, Vegas buffets and one of course is the well one is the sushi buffet on the strip and I talk about that on top of it but it's only sushi and a few other Japanese dishes including tempura of course and the other one is bacchanal bacchanal is a very nice Asian section but bacchanal is hugely expensive and even if you have the buffet or buffet uh, pass you'll have to pay a little extra for that but details on the on the site top-buffet.com and, and, and Bellagio, Bellagio can have good sushi at dinner, it's, it's hit and miss, well they offer some special dishes there, more about that when we talk about Bellagio. The spicy tuna rolls were actually good, they're small, the inside was small, but I expect that at most Vegas buffets, the rest was pretty much average, nothing special. Now, here you have rice pilaf I, I have been relatively disappointed with all the rice dishes uh, manila clams with rapini and uh, mussels arrabbiata this is not how it's spelled by the way but whatever <laughs> and there are kind of like mm, spicy mushrooms um, which is you know if you it's a way to spice up a mussel dish if 
say, you know, the mussels per se are not particularly tasty depending on where you get them from. But, you know, mussels, clams, you know, they're here and it's, it's a pain to actually pick everyone and then make them into a nice soup. But they're popular and they're fine here. Now, one other disappointment that I had, I'm going to pause it, was the quiche, okay, the quiche has become a lot flatter <laughs> than the thick quiche that they used to serve. On the plus side, I actually liked it. It was quite tasty and it, and it tasted quite delicate. And uh, so it was relatively delicate, but it wasn't much of a quiche, but it was delicate. And the Sol Florentine, I want to see that I'm showing it to you properly. Okay, Sol Florentine there, it was actually tasty, but overcooked. Very overcooked. Now this is the dessert, made to order dessert section over there. You have, you know, your quintessential pancakes. You can't really have fresh fruit added and you don't have the higher end type of chocolate mix. It's a bit like, it used to be a flamingo and then it expanded pretty much everywhere else with the Caesars Entertainment resorts. And then you have bread pudding and apple cobbler served in these cute little pots. More about the texture and the flavor of these dishes on top-buffet.com. Now guys, I don't want to, I know some of you say, oh, why don't you just say everything? But I noticed that some of my videos are a little too long and uh, and so I can't go into that kind of ridiculous details perhaps. I mean, some of you say that I speak too much as it is. So they just want to see dishes. But anyway, let me know what you think. And, and these are the, these are part of the condiments that you can put inside the made to order waffle. Um, pancake, I said, I meant. It's okay. I like things when they're fresh, when they're fresh, but not everybody is as fussy as I am. Now, this is a huge disappointment, which is that this used to be one of the pieds de résistance, one of the good parts of the Paris buffet. And as I talk, I want to show you a little bit of this very, very cute, beautiful themed buffet area. Um, so you've got little rooms, some of them are closed, little cute section. I mean, it's really beautiful in terms of aesthetic visual effects. Anyway, this here that you see such sectioned off is actually used to be a huge, see that's all you get here. And that's why, one of the reasons why this buffet is a huge disappointment right now, because I guess they take advantage of the fact that it's low season and, uh, and they just decided to do something, remodel that section there. Uh, now. The problem with that is that you actually pay for a full buffet and you get a half a buffet because this large section here that is sectioned off and it's larger than it seems, it's a square, um, used to have amazing salads, amazing uh, deli section, an amazing deli section, and amazing cheeses that you come to the Paris buffet to have an amount, large amount of amazing, usually, usually usually very expensive cheeses and you don't get that and I was personally disappointed but if you come to this buffet just to eat at any buffet then you won't mind too much but I come to Paris to expect the Parisian experience as well as you know the run-of-the-mill dishes that you find everywhere and it absolutely is not here so personally I'm very disappointed now coupled with the fact that some of the dishes are disappointingly cooked and prepared then I would say that it is overall somewhat of a disappointment of course you find a lot of muscle a lot, a lot of seafood muscle shell fish and if you like that you will not be disappointed but it is also about texture and flavor and all that but so in, in that respect some of the dishes are disappointing I hope that when I talk you see I get excited so sometimes I shake this too much and I don't center it well and I apologize for that so now we go into the dessert section and I'm gonna pause it for a second as I go there and just for some of you, when I, uh, I highlight a particular dish is because there's something particular to say about it. When it's difficult to say a lot about a dish when it's really nothing special, but it's not badly done, it's not particularly well done. So I do end up saying average because that's pretty much the only thing I can come up with. Um, but when something's particularly good or particularly bad, then it's easier to explain why. Now this is the dessert section and guess what the word is? Average. 
usually usually the dessert section of the Paris is pretty good and I noticed some sections that are actually closed and as I walk around this square what used to be a perfectly filled square you should be able to see now I have spoken to several people and and they do like this the macaroons this in particular I've tasted them I'm not fond of them but I have to admit maybe I'm not a macaroon fan they were soft but um, so you know if you are a macaroon fan you will not be disappointed there pretty much the same offering that we saw at Planet Hollywood there's nothing really different and that's a little disappointment be uh, disappointing because I come to Paris and I want to have something different like I go to Bellagio and I want to have something different this section is practically closed in the good old days or even just a few months ago you would have every single section filled with amazing desserts and it's not the case so it feels like it's really low season and I don't think it's fair because the price is not a low season price though perhaps obviously the rooms are low season price but you know I feel a little responsible in a way because I have been commanding this buffet and I have been disappointed somewhat so I do hope that Paris cleans up its act and actually pretty quickly of course you know this is for those of you that want to have an amazing buffet experience if you just want to eat and you have a coupon that gives you a half price then you may not care too much so so far pretty much run-of-the-mill run-of-the-mill desserts really the same that we find pretty much everywhere at the Caesars entertainment buffets with the exception of Bacchanal and uh, and a lot of closed sections I don't like to see closed sections in a buffet you know I mean not in this manner it, it just feels like you don't care but really I guess this is a fussy point but it whatever you offer should be really good that's why we come to Vegas to eat and have a great experience if that's changing if nobody cares about what they eat anymore then obviously we're entering a new phase but I do I'm very positive that some of you will come to the, to this buffet the ex, with the expectation especially if they pay full, pay full price of having an amazing buffet experience and they will not have it right now so as I say it's December 2013 it's 19th of December and I wouldn't come here for the moment until you read that this is grossly improved because so far I don't think it's worth coming here if you are paying full price if you're not paying full price if you have at least ten dollars off as we have and it's very easy to do that these days when it's low season then it's okay you're only you'll only have paid about 12 13 dollars per person for this buffet and that's pretty much what it's worth not a dollar more okay guys well I hope it's been of use and for the details that I mentioned go to top-buffet.com top-buffet.com and I leave you with this pretty miserable sight of these carts pretty much everywhere you don't want to really eat with carts in front of you that's pretty tasteless sorry guys if you think I'm being too fussy don't worry let me know let me know all feedback is welcome see you on top dash buffet guys bye bye hi guys at the end of our uh, buffet review to be fair we spoke to management and they explained and they said that it was a temporary uh, situation whereby you know uh, certain sections were very poor and they were trying to improve them so they invited us back when these improvements will have taken place so watch this space because we will review as soon as we're invited back which is very perhaps in a couple of weeks at best at the at the most so um, watch this space for the update and let's hope let's keep our fingers crossed that the Paris buffet will become as good as it always was again bye bye